Fido, we already finished the first step in the command Fido is prediction step, right? In prediction step, we already finished the uh, generate symbol points. We learned how to do that and the C++ and how to build up the augmented symbol point matrix. Uh, they include up the on process noise in the matrix, right? And after that, we produce the sigma points. We pass all the value from the sigma point through the model process model to get predicted sigma points. And after that, we apply the formula to calculate predicted means and covariance. So, and today we continue the update measurement step. Okay, in the update measurement step, we have the pre measurement first step. Uh, uh, remember, in last step, we create generate sigma point. We pass through the process model, you got the prediction, predict the sigma point, right? And after we have a predict sigma point, we calculate the predict the mean state uh, vector and the covariant matrix, right? So we do the similar way for the measurement model too. We have the measurement model right here, Z, okay? How we also generate the sigma point right here. And we pass through the measurement model, you got the prediction measurement uh, similar points. And after that, you calculate the uh, predict, uh, predict the measurement and uh, covariant matrix as right here. But in this step, uh, we can do the shortcut way. Uh, we uh, don't need to generate the similar point anymore. We resume the predict similar point in last step. <laughs> And we pass through the uh, measurement model to get the previous measurement uh, symbol point right here. <coughs> and after that, we use the formula to calculate um, the Z, the previous measurement, and the covariant matrix. <coughs> when you look at it here, we can use the uh, previous uh, symbol point last step, and we apply for this step. Uh, you remember last time we already had the predict the symbol point in the five row and fifteen columns. Uh, in each uh, column, it means each symbol point you have the uh, PSPY velocity, your angle, and your raised angle, right? So right now the measurement model we have is right here, and we also have the uh, measurement sigma point how it look like it's the three times fifteen, right? Why? Because the value we got for sensor is right now the radar sensor, right? Uh, the radar value, right? They they include up the in the polar coordinates system they include up the uh, row the distance from the um, the, the vehicle to the object, right? And you already know last uh, in, in standard command filter, right? I don't talk anymore here. Uh, um, okay, that's a, here's a remind you a little bit about the formula. We have the step vector <coughs> and we have the measurement vector and the relation between the condition to remember condition coordinate system and polar coordinate system. That time we already know about that. And right here is a noise, right? Noise, a measurement noise, right? Here so you have the noise from the um, uh, equipment, the sensor, right? They have the noise from uh, sigma rho, sigma phi, and sigma rho dot right here. We add into uh, this formula to get the predicted covariance, right? <clears throat> so that's all the film for formulas we had to use for C++ code, okay? And after we got the prediction measurement, uh, similar point, we will uh, use this formula to calculate the uh, predict the Z, the mean state of the measurement Z and the covariant matrix. And how we do it, this is a formula, we add the weight right here and we calculate the covariance me uh, measurements covariance uh, right here. We add the noise right here, the measurement noise right here. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's jump to the uh, C++ code for this step. It means prediction, um, uh, prediction the measurement right. It, it looks like the structure of the code the same last uh, example. Uh, we have the class UKF right here. Right now, you remember I told you we reuse the uh, similar point prediction last 
time is that uh, five time uh, 15 is five okay five time 15 five row and 15 columns right now you create a matrix system for measurements by row. Z, we have to know the uh, what the Z uh, sigma point, and we also had uh, after we have Z sigma point, we have to know the we calculate the Z prediction, and uh, we have to know the covariant matrix, right? As that's the uh, purpose of how the code right here. And we extract the value from the you know right here we extract the value. Uh, from the is prediction right a sigma point prediction right here right we got the ps py vs uh, v and your right uh, your your right right here in this column for each sigma form this column right here okay uh, you got it and you got relationship between the polar coordinate right here and uh, the Cartesian co coordinate system uh, v1 v2 with the v velocity v right here we and so the measurement model right here, you remember that they had the, uh, right here I saw you. Right here, you see, the they have the three value right here, row, phi, and phi dot, this, the formula right here. So that's the reason we had to change from value PSBYV your neural into uh, uh, pass through this model, right? And you got the row, V, and row dot. And we put to the Z sigma point right here. And after that, we already have the Z sigma point, okay, matrix right here. So we use the formula to calculate, predict the measurement and calculate covariant matrix at right. Uh, so right here's easy to understand that we go right here. Uh, okay, we have from the predictions, uh, sigma point, we pass through the, the measurement model, we got the measurement sigma point, right? So after that, for the next step, next step, we had to use the formula right here to calculate the Predict measurement mean Z and covariant S, right? Uh, when we have the, the point right here, you have to calculate the mean and covariance. So that's the reason we say right here, um, we use the formula right here, we put the weight, it's the same, look like the way we create a lot of time, right? And we use the formula to the formula right here. This is a formula to calculate the prediction means and prediction covariant matrix. You see, we calculate the covariant matrix as right here, but you remember um, in covariant matrix, we ask the noise of the measurement, okay? So the noise measurement, this matrix three times, a three dot three column, right, a sigma, all right, sigma uh, row, sigma row, phi, and sigma row dot, right? And after that, you plug together, okay? That's all look like the formula we create, and after that, we print it out. And right here, that's we I call the class and uh, UKM, and that's predict the radar measurement. Right now, let's see how it look like. Yeah, we got results right here. We got the Z prediction and uh, measurement Z prediction and the covariant matrix S right here. Okay. So, um, we already done this step. So, what the next step? Next step is um, update. We got the prediction measurement. So, next, the last step, we update state. It means stay right here. The, Step vector S and a covariant matrix uh, P right here, S and P, right?
So the formula we use right here uh, is kind of the same common filter. You calculate common gain, you have to stay update, and you cover matrix update. And right here, you have a cross correlation between the small point in state and measurement state right here, T. So T is after the T, you got a common gain, okay? And so uh, we have common gain can calculate the covariant matrix update. So uh, we have update right here. We know to the update measurement for S and P right here. Okay. We all use all this formula into the code. Okay. Let's see how it look like into the code. Okay, the same uh, last time, the structure of the class last time, we, uh, right here, we need to know the update matrix. Let's take vector S and cover matrix B, right? And we had a way right here. Mm -hmm. This is a matrix prediction express similar point prediction last time. This is a vector S, right? Uh, style vector, right? Uh, variable vector at the first time. And a covariant matrix at the first time. And here is a sigma point measurement, okay? We do last time, right? 3 times 11, uh, 3 times 15, right? 3 row and 15 column. And right here, you remember last time we already got this value, right? Uh, the uh, prediction the Z, measurement Z and covariant matrix at last video, uh, we already finished that one. So right now, <laughs> here we create a symbol, the for incoming gradient measurement, the next measurement we create right here, Z, the they we assume this value, okay? This is a radar measurement, right? Radar measurement, okay? So we have the row in meter, feet in radian, and radian, and draw dot right here, meter per second. So we have to calculate the TC, okay? Uh, to see the, what the TC, uh, right here. We have to calculate this one to have us uh, to calculate common gain, right? So we calculate TC right here, right? And after that, we calculate common gain and we Uh, do the same formula right here. It's quite a simple. You can't. Okay. Again, equal T C times S inverse, right? And the. Uh, we use formula to update mean and covariant matrix. You see, look at this formula and this one is the same as the update and covariant update, this formula right here. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we got the update value. Yeah, that's a result. We got the updates value. We got update the state vector variable PSPYV uh, yar yar dot right and the cover and new cover and matrix. Okay. After we got the uh, new measurement from the sensor. Okay. We update the S and P. So everything is quite. Uh, quite to me, it's quite difficult. I hope you try to read again, and again, and practice the code, and you will understand how 
uh, you use the formula here into the code, okay? And one more thing about the cover, um, the uh, measurement noise right here, you see, they include up the uh, the metric three times three row three column, okay? Uh, and measurement noise right here, it means row, they have the, for example, you have the three impact value right here, the row, fee, and row, dot right here, for example, row dot, you can row dot for each element, we have a different value right here, for example, from manufacturer, for example, the the row dot right here, the uncertainty is a 0 0.3 meter, so right here you plug in, in you got value in it from the manufacturer okay you plug in here you calculate the um, uh, you can calculate quickly the uh, measurement noise how about the process noise uh, you can uh, estimate you can estimate the person you know the maximum or uh, normal way you know the maximum uh, of the car in that environment and you choose the half of that value and you plug into the process noise and to check the system inconsistent or consistency you have to know that for example you predict right here and measurement right here is a consistent but for example the bridge right here and uh, and measurement right here is not consistent, right? Um, or sometimes we predict, predict the value here and the uh, measurements right here. It means it all, um, it, it mean right here is not, it is inconsistent too. Why? Because it's too, too accuracy, it's not correct. Some, it's not too far, it's not too low, right? Right here, the <coughs> measurement and the bridge, bridge value is really far, you know, inconsistent. And to know uh, the consistent or inconsistent, we use the normalize in innovation square uh, NIS right here to see our difference between the measurement and the estimation, okay? And for example, we apply the uh, probability statistics and for example, 50 percent. Uh, right here, we are different uh, degree of freedom is three freedom right here. And you look at this uh, uh, distribution. As well, right here you can see uh, the DF3 uh, degree of freedom. And right here, for example, you look at this 55% uh, uh, of all K value NAS more than 7.8, right? Uh, for example, right here, the 95% uh, of all K value NAS more than 0 0.35. So, for example, 7.8. For you have the about the uh, uh, five percent value, uh, five percent in all k of the value uh, NIS more than seven point eight. That's a consistent, okay. But sometimes you say this value is uh, more than five percent right here, and more than seven point eight. So inconsistencies, uh, future right. And similar this one, the value right here is low. It's too lower than seven point eight. The system is not is inconsistencies uh, future, right? So that's the way we check how the system inconsistency or inconsistence. Uh, right here the picture we see the result. Right here, uh, you see the 
Ring one is position measurement. Ring one is the position measurement from the radar and radar. And the yellow one is mean uh, right here is the UK uh, position estimation. We estimation the UK position way when the object go to the curve right here. So <laughs> that's all the incentives common future. And from the I told you from the process from the build up the process model to uh, how to uh, code in C++ uh, to the uh, step important step the prediction step and the <coughs> uh, measurement update. So I hope you understand how we do uh, step by step in this uh, to build up the common incentive common future. Okay. Uh, if you don't understand that, try to read again again, and just put a comment below.